Oh my God, y'all are gonna unsubscribe. I'm so sorry. R.I.P. R.I.P. Hello everybody, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure that we're about to embark on to do with my Wally grows my plant wall which is looking all types of ways currently and that's because I have been putting off doing this for the past couple of months the Wally grow just kind of these plants just kind of went downhill and that's definitely my fault I they just kind of started growing out of control I didn't keep up with watering them and then I just kind of I guess lost interest and then got it in my head that I wanted different plants in these planters. So if you are somebody who is enraged by plant neglect or throwing away plants, that is going to be in this video. So I'm very sorry <laughs> to inform you of that. But um, yeah, we're going to see how bad my Wally grows are looking. Also, I just realized, or I just remembered that one of them is broken. Shoot, we'll talk about that, but I do have an extra one downstairs, so I might have to go get that. Anyways, if you're new here, I have been using these Wally Grow planters for the past probably couple of years now, or coming up to couple of years, and I have had trailing philodendron and syndapsis in them the whole time. I've loved it. They look amazing, beautiful. However, mine just grew so unruly and so out of control and ever since I installed the Soltec Highland light which is literally incredible but ever since I installed that I just didn't keep up with the watering because the plants just went on turbo mode after they had that light because they've never had I've never had these plants getting like actual good light before um so once I installed that it was just like craziness from then on. I've spent some time kind of pondering what plants I want to put in these planters because I feel like I want just some some plants that are a little bit more unique um, that I'm going to be more like interested and excited about seeing in these planters um, and also trying to think of what plants are really going to benefit from being blasted with high light there so I've come up with a list and I'm so excited to be just switching these out I think that it's going to look really awesome at least I hope so I'm super excited about all the plants that we're going to be potting up so yeah I guess the first step is to show you the current situation and then I'm going to have to take these down off the wall uh un remove all the current plants and then um obviously plant up the new one. I hope you will enjoy this journey. Grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and enjoy. Well, maybe I will turn the light off because it's so bright. It's hard to see. This Soltec light is like literally insane. It's my favorite grow light in my collection just because it is so up and out of the way. It looks nice and it works super, super well. Um, yeah, so you can see just like how much it lights up this corner. It's insane. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these down. I am definitely of the opinion, oh, she's crispy. She is crispy, y'all. But I'm definitely, maybe I should take a photo before. Should I do a before and after photo now that the light is off? Okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, I think we got a thumbnail. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely of the opinion, like, if you are losing interest in a plant, you don't enjoy caring for it, and you're just kind of like over it, just get rid of it because it's not worth it. It is going to just be a burden on you and create burnout, and I don't want to feel that way when it comes to my hobby. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, they're just plants. It's okay to get rid of them. It's okay. They're not people or animals. They're just plants. Oh my gosh, this feels like a cleansing experience already. I feel like I'm purging the unwanted. Oh shoot, I have to make sure I take all my charms off though. I have a lot of cute charms. Actually, these are probably gonna look so much cuter on the new plants I'm gonna put up here. Oh my gosh, she was starting to climb the wall. Wow, that's kind of cool. I'm rescuing these cutie charms. 
Oh yeah, and I guess I didn't really give a lot of information about these planters or how they work, but I have multiple videos installing these and talking about them, so I can link those videos in the description. They are really awesome planters. I really, really love these, so um, yeah, I'll link those videos for you. Oh yeah, this one is not even planted in here. I never ended up planting it in there, so. <laughs> My boyfriend will be happy because these vines drive him crazy. He sits here to read at night and like the vines just, even after I trim them, like they would just grow back so fast, way too long. I also want to change the cover on this reading chair here. I figured I might as well just do that while I'm kind of doing the makeover in this corner. This is our reading chair. My boyfriend uses it more than I do, but it has this kind of like cream cover on it right now. And we have um, a spare cover that we've never, put on this chair before. So I'm excited to see it because it's like a teal kind of blue color. And as some of y'all know, if you've watched my previous videos, um, one of my last videos was moving the Millsbo cabinet into here. And I was talking about how I'm going for like a blue green kind of theme for this room. Um, so I'm really excited to see that cover on this chair. But yeah, this one just needs to be taken off and washed. Uh, Cadence is always on this chair. So whenever we can buy extra covers for furniture like when it's removable and you can buy an extra we always do just because of the dogs so we'll wash this one and put on the new one but yeah I'm really excited to see that it's kind of fun that we can switch up the color like that okay this is so this is so bad we have a lot of crispy crispy leaves um, I'm just gonna cut off all the vines to put in the compost. I recently learned that we're not supposed to have put soil in the compost. So when, whenever I've been like tossing a plant, I've just been cutting off the like foliage, putting that in the compost and then putting the soil in the garbage. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know, but yeah, let's do that. There is one plant that I'm going to be trying to save and it is my variegated heartleaf philodendron. I know she's looking so sad in the back of this planter, but I'm gonna scoop this out and put it in a separate pot, give it some water and hopefully she'll come back. I do really like this one, so I wanna keep her. And it's not that I don't like any of these plants that I'm getting rid of, like heartleaf philodendron, she's an icon, I love her. I just, I think that our journey is just, um, coming to an end same with the lemon lime this is literally uh one of my favorite philodendrons of all time and i think that i will repurchase this and put it in a different part of my house because it's just yeah it's one of my favorite trailing plants especially when it comes to like foliage plants i love it so um yeah it's not that i don't like these plants like i really do i just yeah <laughs> it's just the end of our time are these roots even good still i don't know this is like bone dry oh Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't think that these roots are healthy. I mean, they're definitely not healthy, but are they salvageable? Hmm, not sure. We'll find out, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna set this to the side and then we'll pot it up when I do the other ones. Okay, there's another one too. I'm kind of shocked that these don't have spider mites, honestly. <laughs> like, how do they not? All my other plants have spider mites, or had. Not have anymore. Getting rid of these plants, Pace. Oh. The ones that annoy you. <laughs> he's smiling, he's happy to see them go. <laughs> 
Okay, this is kind of insane. I need to go put these in the compost. Oh my God, y'all are gonna unsubscribe. I'm so sorry. RIP, RIP. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are all potted up. I'm gonna go water them. And then I'm going to uh, empty these out, probably give them a quick wash and I'll be back. Just finished washing out the planters now i'm taking a quick little break to go on our daily walk so I'm gonna go walk on the trail and then when i get back home we're going to be potting the plants up okay y'all i'm back home and i'm going to introduce you to the new wally grow plants that we're going to be potting up i'm so excited i had such a hard time choosing like the last couple of plants because i had a pretty solid idea of plants that i like for sure wanted to put into here and um the one that kind of started me thinking about maybe switching the wally grow plants up was miss monkey tail here first of all look at her she's looking stunning i feel like she's actually grown quite a bit um she's been living outside up until this morning i just brought her in because i knew i was going to be filming this video today but yeah, I'm gonna put the monkey tail in the Wally Grow. Uh, and hopefully that is going to go well. I'm looking at the size now. Like I feel like, hopefully it's not gonna be too tight for her, but I feel like she's really gonna benefit from the Soltec light um, over the winter time. It's a really bright light. So I think that is gonna be good for her. And um, I can also, I have an extra, where is it? I have an extra little like mount um that you screw into the wall that's what they clip onto i have an extra one of those so i was thinking that i could even don't mind all my plants on the table right now um i was mopping the floors so they're all picked up but i could put a um, mount piece like on the deck here and then i could just move her into that spot during the summertime i feel like it's like the perfect thing so i'm really excited about that um so we're definitely going to be at least attempting to pot up the monkey tail. It can be a difficult plant to repot, but um, hopefully that will go well. And then these are the other ones that I am thinking that I'm going to be potting up too. So I was considering a few different factors. One of them was of course light tolerance because it is a high light spot. So this has to be plants that are gonna do well under like a bright grow light. Um, and I also wanted to choose plants that not, weren't necessarily all going to get super long like that's not my goal whereas in the past like my of my philodendrons and everything that we just took out of there those were all plants that I was like oh these are going to get super long and that's going to be kind of like the goal but I kind of wanted to add some variety over here we have my variegated maranta who loves highlight I've grown this plant like right under bright grow light before and it does really well it actually gets really stunning color and yeah, I just think it's gonna be nice because it's not gonna get super long. Marantas do trail a little bit, but mostly I just want this to get like bushy and nice and just add a little bit of variety. Um, so I'm really excited to see this. I feel like this plant just hasn't really been at the forefront of my collection in quite some time. I did have this hanging on a wall like years ago and it looked really amazing. So I'm excited to be potting her up in the Wally Grow and we'll see how it goes. 
Beside her, we have my Thai Pink Lipstick Plant, which I started over like a little while ago and it's kind of just re-establishing re itself. I used to have a really long, beautiful plant of this, but now it is just cuttings. And the reason that I wanted to choose the, you know what, I'm gonna sit down and chat to you. <laughs> okay, this is better. So yeah, my Thai Pink Lipstick um, is, long story short, it's a small plant now. It just got, I don't know, after it bloomed, it started looking really janky and I kept underwatering it. I think it was in too small of a pot. It kept just drying out super quickly and then it started losing a lot of leaves. So I made the decision in like, this is like months ago, I made the decision to cut it up. I rooted the cuttings in water and now it is um, just getting reestablished again as a little plant. But I thought that growing this on the wall would be perfect for this plant because the grow light is gonna be coming from the front. And one of the things that I really did not like about growing this in my window was that all the leaves would turn around because the light was coming from behind the plant. And this plant looks so beautiful when it just like is cascading, like the leaf, the growth pattern, like it's so stunning on this plant, but you can really only appreciate that when you're getting the light from the front. Otherwise the vines are just twisting and it just doesn't look as nice. You're just seeing the backs of them so i'm really really excited to be growing this in there i think that it's going to look amazing and i'll probably get blooms and everything so yeah i'm really excited about that one speaking of blooms another one that i'm going to be doing and this was one of the other ones that just like came to my mind right away i was like yes this is going to be perfect in a wally grow is my Hoya Waieriae, one of my favorite Hoyas and gives me beautiful blooms, which I absolutely love. She is going to love the light and I just think she's gonna look so stunning. And I really thought it would be fun to have some plants on the wall that were going to bloom. So we have the Thai Pink, we have the Hoya Waieriae. I think that that is going to look so good. And this also hasn't been repotted in literal years. So definitely going to appreciate the repot. And then I was really torn on the last, because I have five planters, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I was really torn on the last plant. So what else did I have on my list? Um, I considered uh, Ripsalis. My, I have two different types of Ripsalis, Paradoxa. I considered both of those. I think that that would look stunning. Maybe I will do that one day, I don't know. Or maybe, we'll talk about that. I might be able to squeeze them in. But um, I think Ripsalis would be a stunning option and really just look super cool trailing. Um, another idea that I had was Hoya Bella. Again, another one that would bloom a lot. Another one that I had in mind was Rat Tail Cactus, but then I decided I just, I, I'm happy with it hanging in my window, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then I also considered Hoya Linearis, but I ultimately decided that I wanna leave my big Linearis out here in the main space. So, um, yeah, and then I also was th considering like a strappy anthurium, but I think it's just going to be way too high light for something like my politiflorum. So I'm not going to be planting any strappy anthurium, but I think that that would look really cool if I- Okay, my battery just died, but I think that that would look cool if I had different lighting conditions for something like an anthurium. Um, but what I ultimately decided that I think I want to put there is my Hoya Polyneura the Broguettes. Um, so the more silvery one. I think that this is just going to look really stunning like in combination with the other plants. It also has the potential to bloom since it's going to be getting a lot of light. And this one that I find that this version of the um, Polyneura can actually handle uh, higher light than just my regular darker green one. I'm not sure about the variegated ones. I do have an outer variegated so but I feel like, no, that one does not like a lot of light. It might even be too much light. Like the Soltec Highland might even be too much light for this one. I'm going to have to see. But this has been living right in a south window. So I feel like it can tolerate a lot of lights. We'll find out. I can always, you know, move things if it's not working out. But that is the one I ultimately decided on. It'd be so cool to get Polyneura blooms. So yeah, I am really excited about this selection of plants. I thought it'd be fun to kind of walk you guys through my thought process with choosing them. I had this little like, um, my little plan right here. I was trying to figure things out and I have a bunch of arrows because I kept changing my mind. But um, yeah, I think that it's going to be really fun having different plants up there. And I feel excited about that space. And I, I haven't, to be honest, felt excited about it in a while. So yeah, I guess we're just going to get to the repotting. Now, not all of these, I'm not going to be potting all of these directly into the Wally Grow. Um, some of them I'm just going to, like this was repotted not long ago, so I think I'm just going to 
sit it in there and then once this becomes more ready for a repot i will pot it directly into the wally grow or i guess i'll kind of just like keep an eye on it and you know if it's drying out super often i'll consider potting it in there but same with this one the thai pink this was recently like very recently like last month i think potted up into this so i don't want to go ahead and like put it in this massive thing already so um this is where i'm thinking maybe i can squeeze in some of my maybe my ripsalis paradoxa minor i could just like pop it in with beside this one in the wally grow we'll see we'll see what we come up with here but um yeah i'm going to go grab a potting mat and we're gonna get started i think that these are gonna be pretty straightforward except for the monkey tail that's the one that i'm nervous for so yeah we'll see how we do here Oh, and this is the one that's, so I washed these out. Ew, this one looks kind of gross though. Why is it, I don't know why that's looking like that, but um, this pink one is the one that cracked. If you can see right here on the bottom, this is my only one that has cracked. Don't know if that's something that happens frequently with um, Wally Grow planters, but I went downstairs and I have, ooh, I have this extra one and it also has the extra hardware in it. So I'll just take that out. I don't need it right now, but it's good to have. And maybe, well, I guess I could use this one and just put like the ones that I'm not directly potting, but I think I'll just, if you have a suggestion of how I could repair that crack, please let me know because I don't want to throw this whole thing away. Like it's still a good planter. And these are kind of expensive, so um, let me know how I can repair that crack so that it's not gonna leak through when I water the plants. Because, I mean, it's definitely best practice for me to take them off every time and bring them to the shower, but definitely over time, I got more lazy with doing that and I would just water in place. But, so you can do that, but I always prefer to just take them off. Um, again, if you wanna see how I maintain these, then, um, I'll link videos in the description, but yeah. Okay. Okay. We're on my second planty mug of the video here. I was using my terracotta pot one before, but now I have my cactus mug. Okay. So I don't really think I care which, I guess I have all terracotta except for one gray, which is kind of like, not really the vibe I'm going for. It was definitely cuter when I had a pink one in the mix, but unfortunately that's my cracked one. I don't know which one I want to put in the gray planter. Which one would that suit? I guess I could put the Wyeti eye because I feel like that's going to cover it the most. Yeah, okay. I will do the Wyeti eye in this one. I have my bin of potting mix here beside me. And I also have Molly's succulent mix for the monkey tail if we need that. Oh, I feel like this is going to take up a lot of potting mix but at least I don't have to pot all of them into these planters today. Oh shoot, I forgot something. I forgot something important. The little insert thing. There we go. Okay, so probably gonna need a butter knife for this because this has literally been in here for years. I'm kind of scared, kind of scared. Hoyas and terracotta and cactus and terracotta. It's like the enemy. This is actually one of my last plants that's still in terracotta, that's so crazy. Is this like the last one? Oh my gosh. The end of an era. I used to pot pretty much all my plants in terracotta and then I got too many plants and became an underwater. And I realized I couldn't plant in terracotta anymore. Definitely might lose some leaves on this one. Okay, ready? See how we go. 
Oh my gosh, it's coming so easily. <gasps> no way. Wow. I'm very impressed. Okay, that's what she looks like. Wow. It's been years. It's crazy. Okay, pop her in. Oh, she's going to look stunning. Oh, she's going to look stunning. She's going to love the consistent light. Wow, this plant has had like a care glow up in the past year because I used to ignore this plant. I used to barely get any light, but this year I've just been babying it and now it's getting a spot under the Soltec Highland. So that's like the best lighting year round. She deserves it. Okay, I'm just gonna backfill now. Just using my DIY soil mix for this, by the way. It's just too much volume to fill using mollies, so these plants will be fine in my DIY. Okay, that's it. She's all planted up. This is what she looks like. Oh my goodness, she looks amazing. I'm so happy with this. The nice thing too is that I don't have to do any of the installation, like the the um, like clip things are already mounted on the wall. So I literally just get to pot these and then go stick them on. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, so that is one done. I guess I'll have to water these too before I put them on. Okay, so let's set up one of them that we're not gonna be planting into. So, this one, we're just gonna have the polyneura for now, like that. I feel like she needs to be boosted up a little bit though. Like, she's kind of sitting low in there. Let me see what I can find. Okay, I found this little pot. So, oh shoot, it's not gonna balance. Well, let's see, it might. I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> I feel like that's worse. Okay, well, she's just gonna have to chill in there until I find something else smaller that I can use. But Polyneura, this is definitely like, some of these are gonna be a more trust the process. Like we have to wait a while for the plants to get more established. Yeah, it's just too big for me to pot her in right now. But you know, after a few months, I might be able to. Maybe I'll take some cuttings of her sometime soon root those and then I could pot all of them together. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, that's a good plan. Honestly, I should probably do the same with this to just fill it out faster. But for now, let's just stick it in to see. Thai pink lipstick. I am gonna grab my Ripsalis to stick in here as well for the time being. It was so hard to choose the plants, even just walking over there. I'm like, oh yeah, there's so many plants that I wanted to use for this. Like I was also considering my Hoya Matilde Silver. That would be so stunning to grow in the Wally Grow. And I was also considering my Hoya Wilbur Graves. I think that that would look so pretty too. Maybe I will do it one day. Okay, so let's have these two in this one for now. This is my Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor. Oh my gosh, she is so long. She is so long. Cuties. Okay, now we need to go back into repotting mode. So let's tackle the monkey tail next. I am definitely scared. I hope I'm not gonna have to like root prune this or something. Like, oh my gosh. It's in this massive pot, ow. This is so heavy too, and I haven't watered this. Like it's dry, it's just heavy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I need to, <laughs> oh, there we go. What am I gonna do? We need the tongs. Can't believe we're repotting this again. We just repotted this in like June. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm just gonna get it out of the pot first. Hmm. Oh dear. 
here. At least it's not stuck in here this time. Hasn't been in here long enough to get stuck. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's so many roots though already. That's crazy. What is this on the bottom? The heck? Okay, that must have been in this planter. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's try to flip this. Oh! Okay, we have a lot of substrate that's coming right off. So I'm just gonna use that to put in the pot. I was hoping I would just be able to reuse this all. Man, this plant roots like crazy. Maybe I should have just taken propagations or something because now I'm going to have to like break this apart a little bit so that I can actually squeeze it into this Wally Grow. Oh, it's pretty loose anyways. Sorry, you can't see, but I'm just trying to break, tease apart some of the root area. And we obviously want it to be facing out like where it's trailing or it's hanging down at the front like this hmm it's still too wide I think you can't even see oh dear oh dear ow oh dear I'm like burying the arms oh my gosh get out of there <laughs> oh my gosh get out There's like this one arm at the back that I kind of just want to like, I wish I could just remove it and, oh, it's this one, shoot. I like that one, but maybe I should. I wonder if I could like detach it and just pot that one separately because it's kind of in the way. Maybe it wasn't a propagation that was added though. I don't want to break it off if it's part of the main. Okay, I've removed this arm. I'm gonna be potting this one separately. <laughs> okay, it's so crazy looking. Then that just makes this so that it can fit a little bit better. Oh, now I have a lot of potting mix available to backfill this with. Ouch, I also have a lot of spikes in me. I feel like people are gonna be mad about me switching or like people are just gonna be like, oh, like that doesn't look good. But y'all have to just trust the vision. If you don't see the vision, I'm sorry. But I think that this is gonna look good eventually. You know what I would also like to add back into this wall eventually, maybe if I like switch out the plants again, is philodendron micans because I think that a micans and a monkey tail beside each other would just look so good. Like the dark velvety leaves contrasting with it. I think that would be stunning. Okay. Oh, I thought this was a broken piece, but it's not. 
this is I am making such a mess out here right now. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Whew, I think we're done with that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she is a heavy too. All right, so that's what she looks like in there. I'm glad that we finally got that one in. Goodness me. Okay. Okay, so we currently have a big old mess in the living room and an empty soil mix bin. I did a couple of things off camera just for time's sake, but everybody is potted up now. And I did go ahead and direct pot the polyneura in here. I just, I don't know. I think it's gonna look so much better directly potted. And this has holes for aeration on the front of the planter. Plus it's gonna be getting high light. So I think it's gonna be okay, honestly. So I went ahead, did that also potted up the maranta it looks stunning i'm so excited about that one and yeah i think that these are ready to go on the wall well what i'm gonna do is put them on the wall to show you what the final like look is gonna be and to kind of figure out how i want to configure these but um i'm gonna take them down after i'm done filming the video just so that i can water them and like wash off the soil and everything they are all thirsty i think so I will need to do that, but for the sake of the video, let's go and put them on the wall. Okay, so there's the wall. Hopefully Olive doesn't move off the bed because my tripod is bouncing on there right now. But let's go grab, I think I'm gonna put the monkey tail in the middle here. So let's do that one first. Okay. Oh, Cadence, she's sitting on the chair, laying on the chair. Girl, mommy's gotta get up here. Okay. Come on, come on. Why isn't it? It does not want to slot in. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Sorry, Olive. What the heck? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so weird having something so short up there. It looks so small. <laughs> Normally I feel like the monkey tail is like such a big plant, but it looks so small up there. Wow, okay, let's get the others. Okay, so I envisioned the Yeti over here. There we go. This is so weird, having different plants up there. Wow, it's kind of refreshing. I think I'll put this one here. Or should I, no, I'm gonna put this here. I think I'll put this polyneura down. Well, no, it needs to go high. Well, hmm. Do I want that there? I'm not sure. Now I want to wash all of this stuff. I forget what the, where the zipper is on this thing. It's on the back? Oh yeah, it's on the back. She's gonna be naked. Okay. Okay. So this is the new cover that I'm gonna put on there. This is what the chair is called, by the way. It's a perfect, just like small 
cute little reading chair for this room and we did really want something that you could remove the cover. Okay, this color is gonna be so cute. This is definitely more the vibe that I'm going for with the green. Okay, she's cute. She's cute. She's giving grandma chic. Now this little thing. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wash the blankets. I'm not gonna put them on right now, but oh, how cute. I feel like I've been doing a lot of just like changing things up and doing like little mini transformations lately, but it's fun. Okay, are you guys ready to see the new plant corner with the light on? Three, two, one. Boop. Oh my gosh, okay, it actually looks stunning. I mean, I'm gonna have to adjust to it looking more sparse for now, but I think that I really like it. I think that I'm happy with this. It feels less, I don't know, it was just before it was, okay, my camera battery always dies when I'm right in the middle of saying something, but I feel like before it was just becoming so overwhelming and so crowded and cluttered and everything was growing out of control. But this just looks like I don't feel overwhelmed when I look at this. I feel excited when I look at this. So I'm super happy with this. Again, we're gonna have to wait until things grow in. We're gonna have to, you know, be patient see the vision for the future. I mean, the Waiyadi is already pretty big. Same with the monkey tail, but I'm hoping that they will get even longer. I'm hoping the Polyneuro will fill out. That's not gonna get super long, neither will the Maranta, but again, I think it'll be cute just to have like little bushy, not little, but like nice bushy plants there. And it's not gonna be encroaching too much on this little reading space. It's crazy. It makes the room look a lot bigger actually. Um, having these smaller plants here instead, it's so crazy how that is, but it looks like a lot brighter and just like more spacious. It's not the final look since this isn't like, doesn't have the throws on it and everything, but, but this is a pretty good idea of what this area is going to look like. <sighs> oh my goodness, that felt like it took a little while. I mean, we took the dogs for a walk in between, but... In my mind, I'm always like, oh, this is going to be so quick. It's not going to take me any time at all. And then I start doing it and I'm like, okay, this is actually is going to take me a good two to three hours. Anyways, this is the end of our journey today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Unless you hate it, then please refrain from leaving me a comment because I'm sensitive. Can't wait to give y'all updates. It'll be nice to actually be able to include this in my monthly updates again because I've just been avoiding the like bedroom plants because these Wally Grows were just like so bad. I did not want to just come in here and give y'all a sad update every month about them. But yeah, I'm so glad to have gotten this done today. It feels very, very nice to um, have this all sorted out. So thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.